hello everyone so welcome to today's class so as we have promised we are come uh, we are doing this class again in english so in today's class we will be going to see the sap activate methodology how this work and where this is needed so all that things we will be seeing in today's video so let's start So SAP Activate methodology, it is basically used for S4 HANA implementation. So whenever we are implementing S4 HANA in our system, at that time we will be using this methodology to implement SAP in our customer system. So basically this is having major four phases that is prepare, explore, realize and deploy. So these are major four phases that is needed in our SAP Activate methodology. So for simplification, we have added two more steps to it. So those are not that much of significance to this, uh, like to this methodology, but still it, it will be like helpful for you understand or compare to the ASAP methodology. So that's why we have included two more steps. So first phase should be first phase is discover phase. So in this phase, what so in this phase, your company will select their implementation partner. So implementation partner is nothing but a IT company who is going to implement your SAP into your system. Then you need to define your scope, what uh, whatever things are in your current business and what is is what you need in your uh, like in SAP transition, whatever is needed. That is your scope. You need to decide and then you should decide your desired version because as all of you know, SAP has different different versions. They are releasing different version or updated version for like um, in uh, one year or couple of years or sometime they are releasing the new newer version. So that is you should decide which version you are going to go with. So next uh, after this um, like after these decisions and after this uh, things are done then you need to go for your infrastructure and whatever things are needed like um, whatever infrastructure is needed employees are needed and all the things are needed you need to set up those infrastructure then you should go for a project kickoff so project kickoff should contain all of the details like uh, whatever the implementation partner scope and design uh, desired version and infrastructure all the things will be written in your kickoff project so next phase we will start from like activate a methodology will start from this phase so it is a prepare phase so in preparation phase you will be uh, gather initial requirements so whatever requirement like overall requirement what is there from your customer you need to just uh, get an overview from your customer or from your business side and you have to check that uh, with uh, sap best practices uh, what is there in the system like what is there um, in uh, your customer requirement and what is in our sap best practices like whatever the process are already there where we can map the business process in our sap process so you have to check for that thing and then you have to like uh, create a demo for your customer like uh, as per our understanding whatever we have seen from your requirement uh, we are giving you a like a demo the, you are you are going to give a demo to your um, like uh, business partner or your customer you are going to provide them a demo so basically in this phase you need to develop a like sandbox kind of thing so sandbox you need to develop and you need to like uh, configure some process overall some like um, uh, whatever you call uh, standard purchasing process or any kind of things if you need to develop you need to just show it the, them a demo like uh, for your business process for your STO process or for your uh, uh, procure to pay, pay process we are just uh, we have just configured these things so you can uh, do it by this so this is automated or something whatever you need to show them in the initial phase you can show so this is not like uh, the total configuration but this is kind of demo so for some cases you can just develop for one company code one uh, plant one storage location uh, one material you can show them the process like this is the process this is how we are going to do it in the sap So after this phase, then next go to explore phase. So in explore phase, whatever you have done, like 
in the preparation phase we have shown the customer and um, our customer or client they are okay with our like presentation they say yeah okay we can go through this so now it's our time to go through the detailed description or detailed requirement from our business so whatever business needs from us we need to check for like detailed like in a detailed man manner we need to check so in explore phase you can go into the details like whatever in there in the standard process whatever is there not in the standard process how to like overcome uh, to your like the non-standard process as we have seen in the like uh, in our asap methodology there is a term called gap analysis as you have already aware we have covered it in our asap methodology so in uh, uh, this in this activate methodology we call it a fit gap analysis so basically what is not there in the standard system that is a gap and we need to fit that gap into our system so that is for that this is called as a fit gap analysis so it needs to be like um, it needs to be uh, requirement uh, needs to be configured like from the functionality it's new needs to be configured from the functional side and needs to be developed by the technical side if something is needed from technical side definitely we if that is, the process is not in the standard system basically we need the technical support team so that they will help us for that requirement so basically in this phase you will be like uh, going through some review sessions you need to like whatever you have done you have to document that like we are doing this this of a process we need uh, the approval from the business user we need the approval of our team like our senior members so uh, budget kind of things and all the things will be like if there is some estimate needs to be changed like uh, you need um, like whatever in the standard process that we can do and uh, maybe we can go for two to three customized process or maybe business is asking for like for going 10 to 15 customized process so that is again a concern like that will uh, increase our time limit or increase our like uh, we need to have more uh, consultant onboarded to do that process so that kind of things of estimates and all the things will need to be taken care of and that all the things needs to be taken approval from your business side and from your senior level of members from IT team. So all these things needs to be done in explore phase. So these kind of uh, like whatever you have done, whatever your business is agreed to, whatever you are agreed to, all the things needs to be get done by a document and approval needs to be done because at all the time you will need the documentation because at every time business will um, like they will tell like we have this uh, requirement and we have this requirement you can tell like if this is in your documentation process then they can ask in the if that is not in the documentation process then you can directly tell them that this is not what we agreed on this is not what we can do if we need to do something further then we need some more like analysis or we need some more um, what you call budget or uh, estimates we need to do that so for that thing it is better to have a documentation and documentation to be present so that it will be easy for you for the future process so next phase we will go to realize phase so whatever is there in the agreement we need to go through that so at this point you are going to get means whatever requirement you have gathered you have to show that to your team and team will develop like the configuration and development all the things will be done by your team so then whatever um, like configuration and development you have done you have to go to the test cases you have to perform the testing you have to like um, you have to ensure all the process are working fine all the things have you have configured like the unit test and the integration test all the things you need to be sure and apart from that you need to check for the data also in realization phase as in asap methodology we are not um, means we are not looking into the um, um, data part in our realization phase that is come and that uh, was coming in a final preparation phase at that time we are doing the cutover and we are doing the data maintenance and all the things we are doing at that time but here in realization phase itself we are doing all the things like your uh, configuration testing and master data that all the things needs to be present in your system in your production system so that we can go to the next phase that is a deploy phase so the here the like outcome is user acceptance test i 
think you all know what is a user acceptance test so basically whatever you have done whatever you have uh, done configuration you have to take a approval from your user that whatever we are agreed to um, do whatever we have done in our process that is all working that is all done we have all set to go for our go live process or we are all set to go for our deploy phase so this is what i i have already mentioned that you should take the business approval that processor are supported and work the data is accurate or data is complete whatever data we need in our production system that is complete so we can start for go live preparation so next phase is deploy phase in this phase we can go for a go live preparation so as we have done all the configuration we have done the fit go analysis we have completed uh, the steps that is standard and non standard process we have done the testing and we have done the like uh, we have done the user acceptance test also so all the things have been done so now we are ready to go for a go live so now we need to train the people they are, who are going to work on the like the live system we are going to work on the production system we need to train them so there is um, mostly two types of training method one is called tat and another one is called triple t method that is a uh, train a trainer or train the trainer that is the method that we use for training so basically um, you have to train your users whatever they need uh, to know to uh, like perform the transactions on a daily basis you need to train them so basically training should be taken care of after that we will go for a go live because before go live we need to do the training or else um, there will be a like so then we will go for a go live and after go live we will be having some hyper care support because we are giving them extensive support because at the starting period of time there will be a lot of confusion there will be a lot of uh, like hesitation like user is transforming user is not um, aware of the current process they are doing the new things and they will be facing many problems and there will be like um, there will be uh, like rejection from the user there are many conditions in the hyper care support like it is the starting period so there there is a hyper care that's why we say it a hyper care support because we need to take care of the system for some period of time till the support is not handed over to our support team so till that we will give the hyper care support so next is transition to support team so this is what about uh, whatever we have done we have to give the hand over the support to a support team who is who is going to take care of the project like whenever whatever the uh, like business side they are running daily activities they will get some error they will get some issue and they will need some development they will need some configuration for that a support team is needed and you can hand over the like uh, project to your support team so next uh, phase will be run phase so this is nothing but a support phase so in this phase the company will be running on s4 hana and they will be assisted by a support team so everything or anything is needed for support like day to day activities or some changes or some improvement that needs to be done by a support team so this is all about uh, activate methodology I hope these things are clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can directly ask uh, in the comment section, or if you are in the group, you can directly ask there. If you are not in the group, you can join the group WhatsApp link and um, your Telegram link in the description itself. You can join from there. And if you have any question like real time issues, if you have anything to ask, you can directly ask in the group also. So that's all about today. If you are still new to the channel, have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe it and if you like the video please like it so let's meet again in a new class so till then bye bye thank you and jai hind